Iron deficiency is one of the most common nutrient deficiencies among women. Today I'll share with you the 11 signs of iron deficiency, why you could be iron deficient, and what tests to ask for from your doctor. I'll also share some of my favorite iron rich foods. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jessica. I'm an integrative health practitioner and health coach, and each week I post videos on weight loss and hormone balancing and how to feel fabulous after 40. If you're ready to take control of your health, make sure to click that subscribe button below. Iron is an essential mineral in the body that you get through food and sometimes water. Your body uses iron to make hemoglobin, a protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen from the lungs to all parts of your body, and myoglobin, which is a protein that provides oxygen to muscles. Your body also needs iron to make some hormones. Iron is especially important for thyroid hormone production. Iron deficiency is common for most menstruating women and for women who follow a vegetarian and or vegan diet. Left unchecked, iron deficiency can lead to iron deficiency anemia. When your body is out of balance, it'll let you know. The key is to pay attention to what your body may be telling you. Low iron levels and especially low iron stores like uh, ferritin can cause a number of noticeable symptoms. For instance, fatigue, chills, shortness of breath, weakness, chest pain, difficulty concentrating, bruises, something called pica, which is a condition where people crave non-nutritive foods like chalk and paint and clay, headaches, restless leg syndrome. These are all common symptoms. There are several reasons why you might be iron deficient. And the most common are loss of blood and gut imbalances, but certain environmental toxins can also cause an iron deficiency. Too much blood loss without replenishing could be from donating blood, blood loss due to injury, large intestinal bleeding, and menstruating. Some gut imbalances that make it difficult to absorb iron that you do consume can include things like celiac disease, IBS, ulcerative colitis, leaky gut, Crohn's, H. pylori as well, which is a pathogenic bacteria, and parasites. I often use an at-home organic acids test to check for microbiome imbalances, and you could order that test on my website. I'll link that in the description below. If you have any gut imbalances, consuming iron-rich foods or even taking supplements may not be enough. In these instances, I recommend speaking with your doctor about iron IVs if your levels are particularly low. Environmental toxins can also change how iron is absorbed. These include things like dioxin, perchlorate, benzene, glyphosate, cadmium, and lead. If you're interested in learning more about what environmental toxins you may have elevated, you can order my favorite environmental tox test right on my website. Again, I'll link that below. So what tests would you ask for to check for iron deficiency? If you think you may have an iron deficiency, I always recommend testing before taking any sort of iron supplement. When I work with clients, I recommend they take these tests. One is a complete blood count, so CBC. This would tell you what your red blood cell count is and your hemoglobin levels are. If either are low, you could be anemic. Iron blood tests. This test would tell you how much iron is in your blood, but it's not foolproof because even if the test is normal, the amount of iron in the rest of your body may be low. This leads to my favorite test, a ferritin level test. Ferritin is a protein that helps store iron in your body. 
And if it's low, even if your total iron count is normal, your body may not be able to use it. Note that the normal range for women is 11 to 300 micrograms per liter. This is a ridiculously huge range. Optimum levels for most women tend to be from about 70 to 150 micrograms per liter. Eating a diet rich in iron can help combat iron deficiency. Animal-based foods have iron that's more easily absorbed than plant-based foods. My favorites are chicken liver, mussels, cooked beef, and sardines. Oysters are also a great source of iron. Remember to eat foods high in vitamin C along with your iron. Foods like broccoli and bell peppers and dark leafy greens are all great and low glycemic options. Iron is often overlooked as a nutrient when it comes to feeling energetic and alive. And if you want to learn what foods can support stable energy levels, check out this video right here. If you got value from this video, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. This really helps my channel. Thank you for joining me today and I'll